Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So, you guys have been asking me for this video, so I made it finally. I needed some time to do the voiceover and edit, so it took me a lot of time. So, yeah. Now, if you haven't already watched my previous Fortress Defense video, uh, you should watch it. It will give you some insights as well. Now, as I always say, there is no such thing as perfect Fortress Defense. Even if you have like the best Shinobis and the best Fortress layout, you will lose to someone who knows how to play attack mission really well. But this video will give you an idea as how you can customize your own base or you can just copy it by pausing the screen whenever you like. So yeah. But my advice would be to take inspiration from this one and make your own changes. Now always watch your defense replays and try to fix your mistakes. That way you can make a really good fortress. Also one more thing is that the layout, the traps and installation only plays like 30 to 40% role in making a good fortress defense. Rest of it depends on what shinobis you are using and how are their stats etc. Since the last fortress defense video I have won 700 defense and lost 250 in 5 months. So yeah pretty good, uh, almost 3 times more wins than loss. So first all you need to do is go to the shop and go to fortress metal shop and there get at least the genjutsu trap and resurrection ninja summon if you haven't already. Now I have those CP eating installation which we got from Sam rewards earlier but right now they aren't available in the shop. So you will have to use something else instead of those and second you have to purchase all the terrain sets available that way you will have all the necessary traps and installations. Third you have to change your fortress appearance to this snow one because it has some good hiding spots for installations. Now I'm gonna use terrain set 20 because I have been using this for more than a year now and it works for me. You can change it to something you like but I would recommend the ones in which if support shinobis get separated the main player have to cross many rooms in order to save them not a straight path one you know focus on something which will waste their time now let's start with the first room so here every player is gonna use the trap clear jutsu so i have put the cp eating installation which will guarantee its cp and followed by aroma pot far away and between there is a tornado trap if supports run towards it they will get separated now this left tornado is for just in case if any support or main player tries to go around the CP trap. So they will face that and go in the left bottom room. The second room is the most important because again here also players tend to use the trap clear jutsu which will in turn reduce the CP by at least 300 more. Followed by some aroma pots far away which will make the supports run towards them and result in separation most of the time. Now this other room is also very important, it works the same as the second room. Now we have some level 3 tornado traps here. If the player is not careful then the supports will definitely get separated here because of the far away installation which will make them run towards it and which will in turn make them separated to other rooms. Now this bottom left room has hidden installations behind those trees which give the shinobi the extra defense buff and attack buff, the white aroma pots uh, which help them survive attacks. And the entrance has a wall and followed by some ceiling trap. Make sure to place the summon in such a way that the shinobi gets awakened as soon as player enables this wall trap. So here you wanna use a shinobi that either eats time or has ranged jutsus like war sonade with high attack power or indra rikit or so6p naruto. Make sure to give them good attack power. Now let's go to the right. Here we have CP eating installation which most players don't expect and use trap clear which makes them stuck and lose CP. Meanwhile our defender is also awakened. If they try to get towards the right there is a tornado trap which can throw them right in front of the defender. Also there is a white aroma pot which gives some extra defense and attack to our shinobi. Here I am using Edo Itachi with the new rekit. Previously I used Indra here. Now if just in case player did not activate the CP trap, Edo Itachi new Crow Jutsu eats a lot of CP. 
also he has ceiling jutsu which is really op and so yeah he works really good for me here now in the bottom right we have genjutsu trap and the white aroma pot far behind hidden behind the trees meanwhile in the front we have a wall followed by some bear traps also the shinobi is in range as soon as they try to enter the room they usually get stuck by bear traps and our shinobi does his job here i am using kankuro basically anyone who does a lot of damage you can use kankuro jubito kabuto etc now let's go to the top right corner this is probably my best room to defeat the attackers as you know heavy sasuke is a really good defender he has a very high attack and he has the ability to one shot paralyze or seal the enemy followed by some white aroma pot far behind for that extra defense and attack also some bear traps and level 1 tornado traps now comes the resurrection room which has war gara which i don't need to explain how good he is so i have put a resurrection summon in the corner followed by the cooldown double installation which we got i think last sam and some seal tag and level 1 tornado traps now instead of gara you can also use war sunade klm minato etc now this last room is basically when supports get separated from this room the third room and come here and since we all know that the ai's are dumb and they will attack this installation and lose their cp and when they escape this room they will face war gara so yeah now coming on to the final room right now i have full meta final room with decent stats most important thing here is if you are using rin then make sure you only have ultimate equipped on her if you can give her some seal resistance that would be good too also try and give decent stats to all of these shinobis now if you need help to decide which shinobis should you use in your defense if you don't have these then you can just visit the subreddit and check out the tier list i will leave a link in the description you can just choose the shinobis which you have from the list and it also has final room main defense support attack tier list so you can refer that it will help you out it also has the order of jutsus of particular shinobis as well now let's watch some of the replays how did they work it has some old videos with indra instead of edo itachi and some new ones as well
now that's it for this video guys uh, there is no such guarantee that this will definitely work out for you or not but it works for me and it has been working for me for quite a while so yeah you can give it a try make some changes or just copy paste as it is it's your choice also keep watching your defense replays and change some stuff accordingly and yeah thanks for watching if you are new do subscribe to the channel and give this video a like i'll see you next time sayonara Oh, 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 oh,